amigos and amigas, I am back with a brand new custom amiibo tutorial. This week it is a me feature and we are featuring none other than, oh my god, it's Firefox. Let me know in the comments below if you guys subscribed to her channel. If not, I will have all her links down below in the description, including the materials. And I just started a Patreon, so if you guys can go ahead and check that out. There are a ton of custom amiibo giveaways and rewards that you guys can get on Patreon. So again, check out all the links down below in the description. All right, so I've been following her work for the past couple of years. Since it's still National Women's History Month, I figured why not end it with a bang. So this is dedicated to all the women out there in the gaming community. Let me know if you guys have any other females that you guys like to look up to or follow in the industry. Comment below and I will feature your comment in the next video. So again guys, this is a very simple speed paint tutorial. If you want a full-blown detailed step-by-step -step on how to make your own custom amiibo me, go to my YouTube channel and check out Awada Tribute Custom Amiibo. That is a step-by-step -step process on how to make your own custom amiibo me. So it was a lot of fun to paint this really cute uh, custom amiibo for Oh My God It's Firefox. I try to include as many things as possible in the bottom of the base that pertain to what she does in this industry and things that she generally likes. Hopefully you guys can catch a couple of the references down below, but of course when it comes to painting, I generally start off with the actual body of the character. Then I'll paint the details at the bottom and hopefully, sometimes, usually, I'll leave the facial features last just because it is the final piece to the puzzle and it's my favorite part. Of course, when it comes to painting, make sure that you guys add enough layers and in between layers, you guys have to make sure that each layer dries. You don't want to stack layers on top of each other because that's not how paint works and it's not going to look very clean. So the key thing when it comes to painting is patience. If you guys are at all interested in making your own custom amiibo, again, all the materials will be down below in the description. It even has the Amazon link so you can directly put it in your cart and check out. Down below in the description as well is my new Patreon. Please guys, check it out. I have several giveaways going on. It's a monthly thing where I give away all of my art. So again, check it out. It'll be down below in the description. I do appreciate everyone's support for allowing me to do what I love, which is making art and teaching you guys. So if you do like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate the support of me, Rose and of me, gals. And again, if you want to even go above and beyond, check out my Patreon. It is down below in the description, as well as the links to, oh my god, it's Firefox. But if there's anyone else you guys would like to see in the gaming industry or in general turned into a me, let me know in the comments below. Your comment might be chosen and I actually might feature it in the video of the character that you chose. So again guys, a lot of interaction going on. I do have a Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, so make sure you guys follow those as well. Okay, so right now I am finishing up the bottom of the base. I just did the Overwatch insignia because of course she loves Overwatch as well as many other games. Um, but those are definitely one of the games that she really pertains to. When you're painting small details like this, don't worry if you mess up, you can always go back and fix it. This is my absolute favorite part because now it's time to give this amiibo character. And by adding the facial features, that's when the character really shines and pops. And that means you're pretty much close to the end as well. So when it comes to painting the facial features, just make sure that you have a steady hand and of course use the thinnest brush that you have. But just be careful because I know with thin brushes, water tends to collect on the bristles. So just be careful again, um, it might mess up your paint and it might dilute it a little bit more than you'd like. So be careful when it comes to water content on your bristles and brush. You don't want it to be too watery or then you're not gonna get that accuracy. So when it came to, oh my God, it's Firefox, 
She has such gorgeous eyes and she actually wears um, from time to time some lipstick and I wanted that to shine a little bit more so I included those details on her face and of course what I've noticed is that her makeup is usually on point so I wanted to make sure that I emphasize that. Usually I don't really add lipstick but for her I definitely wanted to make an exception and she doesn't have a Merc store. I looked everywhere, but I found this really cute design of a fox, and I thought it would be absolutely perfect to include it on her shirt. So let me know, guys, if there's any other people out there in the community that would love a custom Amiibo me. Definitely comment down below, or you can tag them on my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. If you haven't followed me on those social medias, definitely do so. If you haven't followed, oh my god, it's Firefox, you're missing out. So make sure you guys subscribe to her Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. I, again, started my Patreon, guys. It's the only way to get any of my art, and there's a ton of giveaways going on right now. So don't forget to check out all the links down below in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's anyone else that I should make out there, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. I do appreciate the support. And I hope you guys enjoyed this custom Amiibo Me feature. Thanks again, and I hope to see you all next time.